grab it all, right click, new comment, and call this color and shape. I'm going to pull that way up here. Now let's start getting some opacity in here. Actually before that, grab your preview material. You can also turn two-sided on. It's going to look really messed up at the moment, mainly because we don't have that opacity in. Now we could do this with a texture, but math runs a hell of a lot quicker than a texture and you get no loss from any compression settings. So we're going to actually make a gradient ourselves in here. So let's do U, click for a texture coordinate. And then we're going to hold a C and click for a mask. Texture coordinate is going to be at 1. Our mask, we want just the red channel. So turn off the green if it came with it. And you can already see we've got a bit of a gradient going on here, just like that. Now we're going to need a power. So right click, math, and new power. You can hold the one key and left click and we'll get a single constant. Plug that into our exponent, plug the mask into the base. Uh, for the uh, for the constant, we're going to set this to two. If you click the little box here, you can see the update. Basically, all we're really doing is just making sure that the uh, the black is out a little bit farther for our mask. Now we're going to take <coughs> all of this. Select it all, control W to duplicate. Pull this down. And this time grab the mask and turn on the green and turn off the red. And then we're going to hold M and left click and multiply all of these together. Now, we will grab all of that, control W, and now we got to flip these, so pull our mask and coordinates out some and now we need to do right click math we want a 1 minus control W get two of these grab the mask of each of these and plug them into your 1 minuses and then grab those and uh, or the outs of the 1 minus and plug it into the base and again we're just flipping the rotations here now we're going to grab Another multiply, left click with M, and we're going to need a single constant. So right now this is going to be really small, so set the value of that to 150, and another multiply. Connect those up. Now you'll notice we get a nice like round square. You can select all of that, right click, new comment, and alpha distortion. Now we're going to need multiply and grab the alpha of our vertex color, plug it into the multiply, and the add from our noise into the other end. And then hold A, left click for an add, plug 
the multiply in, and then the multiply from our hex. Now we need another multiply. This time we're going to grab our alpha distortion for the one end of it, and then the add for the other end. And lastly, for our opacity here, we need to grab a depth field or depth bias to alpha. So you can turn your material expression window on. Depth, depth bias to alpha, drag and drop it, and throw our multiply into the alpha. Hold 1, left click for a constant, and let's set this to point 1. Now the closer to 0 you are, is the more that this is going to cause the blend of whatever it's being touched to. The main point in this is so that you can get rid of those sharp lines whenever uh, it comes into contact with uh, with a mesh, or you know it's it's intersecting another mesh. Uh, the higher the value, or the closer to one, the more it blends to the actual material or object this is going to be on, and the closer to zero, the more it blends to the mesh it's intersecting with. And apply this all into opacity, or at least that's my understanding of what this is supposed to do. Now that we're going to grab all that, new comment, alpha. And now for the distortion field. As you can see, this is already coming along pretty nicely. And then some here. Blended together fairly nicely. And there's uh, some other options that we can do for blending. But uh, that's for another, another time. Uh, now what we want to do is make sure that this causes a ripple on anything that it's over top of. Like you would expect when you're looking through a field of energy. So our distortion, we're going to need both of our texture samples again. So grab the hex and the uh, the field noise, control W. So uh, drag these down here. And they are both going to have to get multiplied. Hold M while you left click. need to multiply the vertex color alpha and you can just grab the red channel from these you just need the grayscale all right and then these are going to get added together First, we need a panner for each. Plug one into your hex. Plug the other one. Your texture sample, remember that was P, then left click. So for the hex, we're going to set this to negative 0.2 and 0.1 for the Y. For the noise, I'm going to set this to negative 0.1 for both. And then hold U, left click, texture coordinate, plug this into the noise panner. And I'm going to set this to 5 in both. Now. And grab all of this, new comment, distortion, and 
and we'll plug that the out of the ad into distortion. And now you can already start seeing should already be start seeing the uh, background of the grid here getting a little torn apart and kind of see like these ripplies rippling effect towards the top especially if you don't if you're only looking through the black area here and uh, we are done so hit the green check mark and this will apply the changes it's a it's a soft save really uh, close out of that go to your content browser right click save save the package now we can select mesh move the content browser out of the way come back into UDK let's, let's right click the cube for our builder brush set it to 1024 by 1024 by 32 hit CSG add hold down the L key left click make a light and an F4 properties we're gonna go to force dynamic light basically this just makes it so we don't have to wait for building lighting take the uh, take the plane drag and drop it inside if you don't see anything go to the rotate and ooh, there it is move let's move it up a little bit or whatever your object is you're gonna be putting this on go back to the materials just drag and drop it close the content browser and right click play from here <coughs> there you go fairly simple force field type effect which you can apply to whatever and uh, I hope this helps uh, have a good one